Hero Brewery Company here, and today we are going to try a lager. Um, basically, um, I'm a beer vlogger. Uh, I brew beer, so what I do is I drink a whole bunch of a specific type of beer before I brew it to train my palate and to mimic or go after uh, one uh, that I kind of like or uh, a taste that I prefer. Uh, because I drink it, I give it away to friends and family and whatnot. So. Um, we're starting at uh, brewing lager is a little bit more complex than just let's say your average Oktoberfest um, which is a lager but it's a specific type of lager so that's not a good example um, an American light okay uh, it's a little bit more complex than that it's more temperature control type of thing but anyways watch my old videos about that and uh, and you can kind of see how I started brewing beer uh, my beer vlogs are pretty much up to date so um, today we're going to try the Line and Kugels um, Anniversary Lager. I like to try new stuff, so whenever I see a new beer at the uh, craft beer market, um, I try to pick it up. Uh, this tells you how to say it. It says Line and Kugels uh, Anniversary Lager, a brewery collaboration with Hofbrau Munchen, which if you've never had their Marzen or their beer, which is the... Um, a, basically Oktoberfest. It's a straw colored beer. It's really great. Um, I'm guessing they swapped recipes or just gave uh, Line and Kugel some recipe uh, but their logo is on there as well which is pretty cool. See that? That's a German um, uh, brewery. Uh, so basically it says uh, J Line and Kugel Brewery Company established 1867. Amazing. 5.4% uh, alcohol by volume, 12 ounces, anniversary lager celebrating 150 years of brewing. That's crazy. That's all you got. No uh, descriptions or anything like that. I already poured it because um, it was very carbonated and I had to cut that part out. But uh, uh, it the head was uh, overflowing. Um, so it had great carbonation and a lot of head. You can see the color um, is uh, kind of a um, an amber color, uh, which like same almost like a lighter color of the bottles. Um, I like my lagers a little bit lighter of a color. Uh, this is kind of like a reddish uh, color here, and I um, mean you can kind of see it, but. It definitely smells like a lager. You get um, the OT smell, um, kind of like wheat or uh, like a straw smell. If you've ever walked into a barn with some fresh cut straw in there, that's the, the odor that is uh, emitting from this. It's crisp. It's really good. Smooth is the one word I would describe that is very smooth. Now I could, I could drink a whole lot of these uh, because that went down very good. Um, yeah, it almost tastes like a um, like a uh, a fresh baked bread. Um, no sweetness. No, uh, no fancy gimmicks, nothing like that. Um, you get what you paid for here, kids. Um, but it's that's good. It has that the same odor as it does taste. So you when you you taste it, it's like um, crushed up oatmeal uh, with no water added. That smell, that taste. Uh, it's not not bad. Very smooth. Um, which, you know, is sought after for, you know, a lager uh, because, I mean, it's a drink of beer. So, you know, it's made to be drank. Um, I like Line and Kugels. Uh, basically, uh, like I said before, I'm drinking the lagers to try to make a lager, try to go after a style I like. This is smooth. Uh, I like that. Um, so, we'll try to go after that. Out of 100, 100 being the best lager I've ever had and zero being the worst I'd give this an 80 it's a real smooth lager 
that's good. I like that. And, um, and I'll probably buy some more. So, uh, if you see a new beer you haven't tried, go try it. Uh, give these, give these, uh, craft breweries, uh, um, a try and, uh, give the big breweries a name, a run for their money. I know they are a big brewery in a sense, but you should still try everything. Uh, all right. Cheers.